Hey guys, Matt Dancho here, and today what I'm covering is RTIP84 summary tools. And the goal here today is to show you how you can analyze data faster with R using this R package. Um, this is amazing. So this is actually one of the things um, I'll be showing you one of the key functionality is just being able to summarize data very fast. I'll explain what all this means here in a second. Um, but here, let's get going. So the goal here, we want to analyze data faster in our, uh, we're going to use this package summary tools. Here's how to get set up. First, you're going to load in the libraries after you install them. And um, I'm going to read in this data set. So if you join the RTIPS newsletter, um, you'll get access to all of these RTIPS. We're working out of the RTIP 084. And inside of here, there's this customer churn data set. Let me explain kind of what's inside this real quick. Um, so this customer churn data set, 7,000 rows, 21 columns. Each row is a customer. So this customer ID, um, this customer ends up being a female. Um, are they a senior citizen? Yes or no? Zero, one, partner. Uh, do they have a partner, et cetera? Um, a lot of descriptive features about what products they're in and um, how much they've paid for those products. And then what we want to know is whether or not they've churned. Um, so the idea here is if you're getting a brand new data set, what you want to be able to do is, is actually be able to analyze this data very quickly um, because as a data scientist, you're always you know trying to figure out how can I get more information faster. All right. So um, the nice thing is this DF summary um, is the first function that I'm going to point you to, this DF summary here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop off the customer ID. We don't need that. But what I want to do is I want to check out the data and just look. Um, see what kind of information is included in here and get some descript descriptive analysis done. So we're going to use, I'm going to run this code here, uh, control enter, and that actually produces this image that we see over here. Um, I already had it up for you just because I wanted to share it with you um, as so, so you see where we're going with this thing. Um, but isn't this cool? Uh, for every variable, it's going to tell you what, what type of data it is, whether it's a character or numeric data type. Um, it's going to give you statistical values. So for character data, um, there's different. There's going to be different what we call levels or factors or categories. So uh, you see female and male. Those are the two different um, frequent uh, values. And then it's got a frequency. So there's 3,488 female, uh, 3,555 male. So you can see percentage wise, it's roughly a pretty a fairly even split. And you can see that in the graph here. So this is a kind of like a histogram um, or a bar plot that uh, tallies up uh, the, the distribution. Uh, how many uh, are missing? So there's a zero missing. Um, how many are valid? So there's 7,000 samples, 7,043, 100% valid. Okay, so that's how you read this. Um, let's do a different one. Uh, numeric, uh, you can see instead of having, uh, because it's a numeric variable, you want to analyze those a little bit differently. So instead of um, how many like unique values or levels you would have with character data uh, or categorical data, what you want to do is understand kind of the distribution. So you can see the mean is 0 0.2, max is 1, min is 0. So this is actually kind of a categorical variable, uh, min 0, uh, max 1. So there's only zeros and 1s. Those are the frequencies right here. Um, and you can see uh, a lot more zeros than one. That's why the mean is 0 0.2, but the mean really doesn't mean much. It just means that there's a lot uh, fewer senior citizens in this data set um, than uh, the 83.8% uh, uh, as a matter of fact. Um, so let's do a different one, uh, tenure. Uh, this is another one. So there's 73 distinct values, but the tenure is gonna be like the uh, year or how many months they've been uh, with the company um, with, uh, as a, uh, a customer. So uh, you can see the distribution here. Um, you can see a, a lot, most of the people are very few months, um, but some people have been there quite a long time. So that's what we're kind of seeing here. And you, um, and you can see that. So you can get a lot of good information out of just this one quick function. Um, and that's amazing. So I want to show you a couple other functions. These are uh, also nice ones uh, for numeric features. You can use the describe function. So this gives you a little bit more insights into some of the descriptive statistics for numeric features. So this only works on numeric, um, but you're gonna get things like mean, standard deviation, uh, min, uh, max, the interquartile range, IQR, um, mean average deviation, uh, skewness, kurtosis, uh, and, and so on. So these are, this is actually very good. This is like all the statistics that I would normally look at when I wanna describe you know, a numeric variable. Um, so you can get that really quick, just one line of function, um, one line of code. 
All right, and then the last one here for categorical features. Um, they have the frequency function, which is very good because you can see um, basically like the distribution. Uh, how, you know, for each of the unique uh, categories like female and male, what's the distribution, percentages, and so on. And you can get this for every single um, uh, feature, and actually it does even for numeric features as well. Um, but this one's like character, so this one's good. Um, partner, so you can see um, frequency is 3,000 for no. Uh, 3,400 for yes, so 3,600 for no. Um, relatively, you know, pretty pretty even split. Um, let's see if we can go to another one where they have multiple um, categories. All right, so this is uh, different uh, internet service products. So DSL, fiber optic, or no. So you can see um, it, it puts together this frequency table for you, and you can dive in to see, you know, what are the proportions. 34% of your customers are DSL. 43.9% uh, have fiber optic, 21% uh, have opted out of both, uh, zero NAs. So yes, very good for like diving in and just doing like detailed analysis, you know, when you're early on in the data exploration phase. All right, cool. So that wraps it up here. Um, if you like our tips, uh, make sure you subscribe. Um, and also I have courses on R, there's a five course R track. Um, if you're interested in taking your R learning even further, um, check the uh, links in the table. Uh, there's 1800 lessons. Um, it, it is, I think, 153 hours of video content in that R course and uh, in the five course R track. So check that out if you really wanna go further with your um, data science for business with R. Uh, I have prepared that for you. All right, I'll see you guys soon, bye-bye.